Hey everyone, I hope you're well. Today I thought I'd show you my account. Um, a lot of people always ask me questions about my stats and my settings and you know different things about my account, how long I've been playing, all that stuff. So instead of kind of answering everyone individually, I thought I'd just showcase everything. I don't really know how many people are interested in this kind of thing, but I, you know, I thought it could be a fun thing to do. Before we jump into it, I say that I've played this game since day one, so I have quite a lot of kills, but I'm, I'm not the best player. Uh, my KD isn't great. I've only ever been diamond. I've never really stuck it out with a pre-made squad to ever even get out of diamond. I get pretty bored of ranked as soon as I hit diamond just because it's not. it doesn't really fit my play style. I'm the kind of player that likes to play solo a lot. I go solo no feel most of my games, so... I think that's reflected in the stats, but anyway, I'll show you everything. We'll start with the settings. So let's jump in. I think everything's pretty normal. I actually usually have this on compact. I don't know why it's on default right now. Uh, everything's pretty standard for there. Um, my DPS is 400 and I have a mouse sensitivity of four. I do not have any per optic ADS settings. It's all normal. Uh, all this stuff is obviously pretty simple. Now my keybinds, um, they're pretty straightforward. I got jump on scroll wheel up. I think that's quite a normal thing. Scroll wheel up, scroll wheel down, whatever you want to choose. Scroll wheel is a pretty good choice for a mouse and keyboard player. The only like different thing I'd say about my controls is I do actually have a special keybind set up in the config file for the extra character utility button. This is the same button that's used for taking down Gibby's arm shield, inspecting boxes with Ash's passive. Most importantly, in my case, picking up Rampart walls. Being able to fluidly pick them up is so good. So I actually have that on scroll wheel down. But on top of that, I want to be able to tap strafe as well. I'm not a great tap strafer, but I want to try. So I have that on scroll wheel down as well. Now you can't really set two controls or two actions as one keybind in the game, but you can use a config file to do that. So I have got that. You can't use that in tournaments, but it is completely safe to do uh, in normal gameplay. So we've got that set up, which just means that I can actually pick up walls fluidly and not have to mess up with my controls to be able to tap strafe as well. Um, I do play on controllers a little bit, but only very recently. So I'm still messing about with my controls here. Uh, my advanced look controls probably look pretty pretty normal here. Uh, you know, still work in progress. Still work in progress if you're a controller player and you're curious, but I'm really bad at controllers so far. Um, Graphics-wise, everything's pretty normal. You know, I usually like to look my, have my game look good. Um, so, yeah, I'm always messing with these things, but it's not that important. Now, let's get into the stats. I think it could be a fun thing to do to start off by going through each legend. So, um, let's start with the legend badges. I don't actually have a 4K on Bloodhound. The highest I've got is 3.7K. Uh, I don't have a 4K on Gibby either. I don't even have a 20 bomb on Gibby. Um, I never really played him that seriously. I don't know how I have 1.5K kills on him. That's quite a lot. Um, I do like playing all of the legends though. Um, and you'll see that I think reflected from my stats. I was a lifeline main right from the beginning. Uh, and then they nerfed lifeline. They got rid of her fast heals. So I stopped playing her. We managed to get, didn't, you know, a little bit of a 4K. Nothing too fancy. Uh, for Pathfinder... Yeah, we played Pathfinder a lot, I'd say. He's probably one of my favorite legends. I love the grapple. We got a, you know, very boring, simple 4K game. Now, this is going to surprise you. I do not have a 20 bomb or a 4K on Wraith. And personally, Wraith to me is probably, like, one of my least enjoyed legends to play. I just, I don't know. Like, I'm a bit bored playing her abilities. I think there's more interesting legends to play. Um... Like Bangalore, I think Bangalore is more enjoyable. I don't even have a 20 bomb on Bangalore either. It's a shame you can't see how many kills you've got on this badge, but we have got the 4K badge. Um, now you're going to notice something. I don't win many games, and it's because, you know, solo. I play solo a lot. I don't play pre made. I just rather fight people instead of try and win. I think that's fair enough. Um, once again, Caustic, no 4K, we're sitting at a 2.7K. There's quite a few legends left that don't have a 4K badge, so we could do 
a bit of a challenge, perhaps. Now, here's where things start getting juicy, right? We've gone through the not-so-interesting legends, I'd say, from this point forward. This is, like, the bulk of legends that I enjoy playing. And I'm going to start with Mirage. I got a crazy game with Mirage. We got 6.4k damage. Um, that was back in Season 7. We got the 20 bomb as well. Then we move on to Octane. Octane, I've played a lot. As you can see, getting close to 5k kills. Octane's just so much fun. I think everyone can enjoy playing Octane. The highest damage game I got on Octane was 7.4k. And this was during the Ring Fury mode. Where you could heal outside the ring and get like a bunch of really fast heals with the heat shields. It was a mad mode. Um, and damage counted in that mode, so I think that's a little unfair. 4K20 on Watson, I think we got a pretty standard 4K game. Yeah, 4.5K, nothing too crazy. Crypto, we did get a... F no, we didn't get a 4K. I think we got close to it. Now, I'm not a very good crypto player. I, I don't like playing crypto. I find it boring. I understand there's a lot to playing him, but yeah, like I said, I don't really know anything about it. I think so far, though, I think like one of the things that's clear is that... I love playing everyone, man. Like, at least trying. I've definitely given every legend a decent enough try at this point. You know, I don't just stick to one legend entirely. We don't have the 20 bomb. I got 19 kills with Revenant. A 4.5k game. Now, Loba, we got a pretty good game of Loba as well. And I'd say I've been playing Loba a bit more recently just because it's nice to have the uh, passive when you're trying to go for high damage games. With that being said... Loba's game isn't my highest, and we'll get to my highest damage game pretty soon. Uh, it's just a 6.3k, and we didn't even get the 20 bomb in that game. I was trying to damage farm. They killed me. It happens. Now, let, let's save Rampart to last. Let's save Rampart to last. Um, we got a nice game of Horizon pretty early on in Season 7, where we got the 4k 20 bomb. It was a 5k damage game. That was my first ever, like, damage game besides 4k. Um... And then we shall move on to a fuse. Good old Fusey. I don't think I have a 20 bomb of fuse. I die a lot with fuse. I haven't really played him that much. And I'm quite surprised I don't have that many kills of him. I feel like I've played quite a lot of games. I'm going to actually find my games played tracker. Oh, it's not too bad, I guess. It's not too bad. It's a pretty low KD. But um, yeah, 4.4k for Fusey. Um, yeah. Not too bad. Valkyrie. I played Valkyrie a decent amount. Definitely more so in Season 11. Um, and we do have the 4K 20. Almost a 5K of Valk. Almost, but not quite. Then we have Sia. I played Sia a very small amount. Uh, as soon as he got nerfed, um, I don't think I really played him at all. I played him a little bit at the start of the season. Just almost had a 5K of him, but not quite. We got five wins. We didn't even complete the Assassin badge, so, you know, you can see I haven't really played him much. Now, Ash, brand new legend. We haven't got the 20 bomb yet. I got, an, I think it was an 18 kill game or a 19 kill game, something like that. And we got a 4.4k damage game. So now let's move on to my main since Season 6. It is Rampart. We have just reached 9k kills of Rampart. That's mad. It's nowhere near the highest amount. I think the highest amount of kills on a Rampart is like five, 55,000. I'm not even in the top 100. That's crazy. Um, Rampart's probably one of the least played legends. It's, and, but even so, there's still so many absolutely cracked Rampart players out there. It's a shame you never meet them in game. You know, I, I never really see them. I just guess they're not in my region. But we got a 7.8k game with Rampart. I didn't deserve that game, but it somehow happened. Um, and... She's like one of the only legends I actually have over 100 wins with. I think I have over 100 wins with Lifeline as well. But like no other legends I have over 100 wins with. I'll be honest. It's just the way it is. So let's have a look at the account badges. Um, we have everything here. We I got the win streak before this badge was even a thing. So it didn't really count. Um, we got a five win streak before the badge came out, I believe. We've had 100 wins with Rampart in arenas. I, I played arenas a bit, but I got quite bored of it. The matchmaking is still kind of a mess. We got all these event badges. Uh, this was like uh, an, uh, the first event, the very first LTM, I believe. All of these were season two ones. We got the solo game. Uh, win at least 10 solo games of 10 different legends during the Iron Crown Collection event. I don't have the 888 badge. I wish I tried for it. I did not unlock it. 
Um, they get, you know, they kind of just started doing pretty simple badges at this point. Um, nothing too exciting there, to be honest. The uh, rank badges, as you can see, is just diamond, 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 diamond from the very beginning. I've never been anything other than diamond. Uh, I've never really bothered to try too hard. We've got these very cool... They need to bring these back. Season badges. In season one, get 100 kills with seven different legends. Uh, top five squads 50 times. And this one, win 25 games with seven different legends. The highest tier is 50. I didn't quite manage to do it. I tried my hardest, but I couldn't quite do it. All right. So let's take a look at my account stats now. So Battle Royale. I got 44,000 kills, which is quite a lot. But considering I play it every day since the start of the game in 2019, it's not too mad. Um, my average damage is actually pretty bad. I think it's because I die off drop a lot. A lot. Um, I don't have many revives because I play solo a lot. Highest kills is 28. Highest damage is 7.8k. That's with Rampart. It was that Rampart game. Um, and yeah, my KD is 2. 2.05. Nothing too fancy. And my win rate is 4.8%. So it's not too bad. Uh, I'd say like the average win rate is 5%. Um, you know, it's going downhill since I've started playing no fill. It was definitely going to get to the point where it's probably going to be averaging about 2%. You can see my total win rate for season 11 is looking pretty bad. Not going to lie. Not going to lie. It's pretty bad. Um, but yeah, hey, that is the total look at my stats. I don't know if this is interesting. I don't know how many people even really want to see that. Um, I don't know. I've already made a video about my skins in the past, so I thought maybe we could now do a video about my stats. Did you like this video? Were you even that interested? I don't know. Let me know. Uh, let me know what you want to see as well in the comments, and I'll see you there. Cheerio!